So hello everyone and today I am very very excited to bring Dr. Aditya along with you who has secured amazing rank of 176 in the recent INICT examination. Heartiest congratulations Aditya. Yes ma'am, thank you, thank you. Hello everyone. Right, so uh, you uh, have made all of us very very proud and uh, to inform everyone, Aditya was our online student on the live app and uh, he has solely uh, attended all the classes, right Aditya? So, yes, uh, can you elaborate your journey with us? Uh, Ma'am, uh, after final year, I had actually enrolled in the TND package, uh, mm -hmm. TND course, but after a few TNDs, I was inconsistent with the TNDs, so mm -hmm. I did not appear for the next ones. But then I thought maybe my concepts are a little weak. So I enrolled into the regular live batch course. And uh, so I started listening to the classes and taking notes from January last week. The first class was of US one one, of Thelmology. Yes. And then the classes were really good. I made the notes. And uh, those were like the uh, course core material for me to prepare. Right. So, Aditya, like you said, that it was the core material which helped you in achieving such a good rank. So, what do you think was the best points about the classes? Um, earlier, the uh, limited amount of duration, like three to four days of ophthalmology, uh, four to five days of pharmacology. So, mm. like when you have that time limit on a specific subject, and you know you are you will be finishing a subject in the, those days. It was kind of it was giving me confidence that okay now I have done more than enough for this subject and I can move on. So that was the first point, ma'am. And uh, secondly, the schedule was really good, like three to four subjects per month, sometimes even five. And you had already access to the main app videos, revision videos, so that also helped me a lot. Right. So, like Aditi, you said that earlier you were in TND, but you thought that your concepts were not that clear. So, how yes, much sir. difference in the concepts you felt before the classes and after the classes? Uh, uh, like, there was a big difference, ma'am. Like, especially uh, my ophthal was very weak during the prof exams as well. Uh, so, when I attended a class, it was really good for me because squint and some other topics, even refractive errors, I was very weak in it. And I got a good boost in those topics and also ma'am like uh, especially dr saurabh bhatia for pharmacology uh, his class was next after your classes ma'am and uh, I, I did not even know there were so many concepts which were like lacking and after their class i understood yes like now i know some of them right. and uh, ma'am as, as actually dr ashwani said anatomy classes ma'am like uh, they helped me really a lot like they were extended through two weeks because sir uh, were at that time in canada and mm -hmm. they were taking classes early morning at 5 a.m and we were here at 5 p.m in the evening so they used to take four to five hour classes every day and uh, through that like in two weeks duration they covered everything else right so Aditya, do you think that if one is actually sticking to these notes, like you said that this was your sole uh, base of preparation, then one can achieve a good rank only by this? Because, you know, FOMO is very, very prominent these days. Yes, ma'am. Like the content is adequate, more than adequate, actually. Like uh, you, even if you, even if there is not a direct question from the content, you will be able to rule out the three options, come to a right answer. And uh, yeah, most of the questions are direct and recall based itself. So yes, the, the content will cover almost everything. And yes, there will be few uh, questions which nobody won't be able to answer. And uh, yes, ma'am, the content was uh, exactly to the point, like nothing more, nothing less. And in some cases where actually details are required, for example, subjects like surgery, uh, microbiology, like there is some additional content as well. So that mm -hmm. helps a lot, ma'am. And some of the questions were direct also, Aditya. What about uh, the astigmatism? <laughs> yes, ma'am, actually. Like some questions, uh, even when, when you're not expecting them and yes, okay, this was covered, but now I know this. And those type of questions, like even in NEET PG also, ma'am, 
like there was a question on astigmatism they were repeating those type of questions yes <laughs> yes yes so sometimes you know we always predict the questions we predict the topics but uh, i was also surprised that how come the figure is also the same as that of the classroom image so uh, sometimes they this also happens right so aditya how did you uh, revised these notes how many times did you revised um, i revised three times in total like mm -hmm. uh, my first reading i was supposed to complete by september mid but i was not able to complete by then uh, mm -hmm. it took me little long and till october i have completed first good reading with some questions and wts and mm -hmm. uh, by the end of september september last week to october mid 20th or so i did another revision 30 okay. days approx and then last revision in the last 15 days or so right so uh, how many times did you felt this three times revision was enough for you ideally how many times revision the student should do what do you think and, uh, if they are starting out in final year or in internship uh, try to get in as many number of revisions like four five whatever is the amount but three should be the minimum amount of revisions you should go through Uh, I also felt like when you are giving an SWT or a GP, you will mm -hmm. automatically be reading a lot of content. Mm -hmm. So those revisions do not account in your actual revision. But apart from all that, three revisions I think is good enough. All right. So question practice now, Aditya. Uh, uh, how much importance will you give to the question practice daily? How many questions did you uh, practice daily? Uh, I was not doing a daily set limit of questions, ma'am, but. Uh, like i i did previous questions twice mm -hmm. uh, i gave some gts and i usually did swts and my approach was that uh, i need to do it quick but not like in a uh, very rapid rapid manner i need to like understand the solutions and then move ahead that type of an approach yeah? and testing is always better than simply solving a question by in my opinion so that you can go through 50 questions and then again review them 50 or 100 questions Right. So, did you prepare the twentieth notebook, Aditya? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. I did prepare a twentieth. I made some small notes of each subject in that, except mm -hmm. for few, like anatomy, surgery. I was not able to condense them at all. But apart from that, like I had like six to seven pages of notes for of pulmonology, ENT, like that, and uh, I revised them in the last fifteen days. Right. So, which classes did you liked most, Aditya? Yes, ma'am. Like, uh, initially, yes, ma'am. Your classes were there that actually helped me because I was very weak in optical before that. And after that, uh, the classes of Dr. Saurabh Bhatia on Pharmac and uh, Dr. Ashwini sir's anatomy, Hamim sir's um, medicine, uh, Dr. Jay sir's surgery as well. Mm -hmm. Like, and even PSM, ma'am. Like, PSM classes were also really good. But after uh, Rajiv sir. Shetty, huh? Yes. All right. So, Aditya, any other important message that you would like to give your uh, colleagues or juniors that they should do or they shouldn't do? Any do's and don'ts for them? Uh, my, my one of my big mistakes was like I did not start early. I started at the later end of my internship. So, mm -hmm. yes, uh, please start early. Like you will, you will have a phase where you'll be doing a lot of unnecessary stuff. You'll be doing things which you which actually is not important. So you need to go through that phase a little fast, and mm -hmm. apart from that, give GTS early on. They will let you know that okay, you are not in the correct path or you are in the correct path. Right. So, heartiest congratulations once again, Aditya, from whole of the team DBMCI, and we wish you all the very best for your future endeavors also. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Thank you.